What's happening in the world? It's March 18th, and this is what happened on planet Earth last week. But first, I need you to move your finger two inches and press the thumb up icon, because in order to win this popularity contest, I need user engagement and runtime. So, in the comments, go ahead and write, I like it. Nothing fancy, just, I like it. Also, support your favorite content creators and use the PayPal donation link below as we rely on your financial contributions to consistently gather, organize, and present this information to you on a weekly basis. It's like a second job, but one we actually enjoy. So gather around, we have a lot to get to, and I hope you're ready. Let's do it. Bitcoin hits 73K as it gets listed in UK investors and CO2 at Mauna Loa hits 427 parts per million. We're flying. Meanwhile, 12 months of record ocean heat has scientists puzzled and concerned. Portugal had a national election and nobody won. Princess of New South Wales edited a photo of herself for Women's Day and it was removed from social media because it was edited and now they're comparing her to North Korea. But nobody cares. China is trying to normalize military drills near Taiwan, Ireland's top security official says. The number of preppers in the U.S. has doubled to 20 million since 2017, including me to some extent. I mean, obviously. Ecuador extends a state of emergency by 30 days from rising violence from drug trafficking gangs. T says Facebook is the enemy of the people. You know who I'm referring to. More flooding in Hampton, Afghanistan, okay, everywhere. Floods, Java, fires, hail in Missouri, heat records broken everywhere. First ever tornado in February in Wisconsin, then another one here in Ohio killed three. In fact, the wildfires raging across Texas released a combined 920,000 metric tons of CO2 in January and February, the second largest release on record for that period. U.S. Green Berets will permanently deploy to Taiwan, but that was last week. FBI agents swarm women's prison in Dublin because the guards were sexually abusing the inmates. U.S. led global oil production for sixth straight year. According to the IEA, crude oil production in the U.S., including condensate, averaged 12.9 million barrels a day in 2023, a level surpassed the American and global record of 12.3 in 2019. Average monthly U.S. crude oil also reached a record high in December at more than 13.3. Not sure if that was billion or million, but we're tracking worst case, worst case scenario, y'all. Across the ocean, countries across Europe should prepare for catastrophic risks ranging from floods, deadly heat waves, yet another report as if we didn't need more that the EU Environmental Agency said on Monday in a 32-page publication that hundreds of thousands of lives and more than one trillion in losses are threatened. Europe is the fastest warming continent. Don't even bother looking up. Five dead, two children missing after weekend storms in southern France added to that flood crisis. Florida teachers can discuss sexual orientation and gender ID under the Don't Say Gay Bill. Three astronauts and one cosmonaut returned back from the ISS on a 199-day mission and had a soft landing in the Gulf of Mexico. Ay -ay -ay. Buy me a margarita. Oil blobs wash onto California beaches. Ugh, you nasty. Meat sauce. A handful of Boeing jets were marked unsafe because, surprise, greed. Profits over safety, then the plot thickens. The Boeing whistleblower done did the suicide. We're sending $300 million of new weapons to Ukraine, but you can't afford a house. Russia is ready for nuclear war. Putin warns the West if we send troops there. Every new mother in Flint, Michigan will get financial aid $7,500 over a year. Booyah. Romania is extraditing Andrew Tate, but nobody cares. One in 10 high schoolers, seniors use Delta 8, 30% smoke grass, and they buy Bitcoin. I did a rod race ended with a thousand miles. As per usual, three dogs died and the same guy wins for the sixth time and wins 55 grand. Just so humans can go, wow, we traveled with dogs. 
United States intelligence agencies have warned that the country faces an increasingly fragile world order. No shit, you think? Every country is doing war preparation drills as we speak. 2028 is hell on earth, am I right? That's what you voted. Three people arrested as red paint sprayed on Scottish Parliament in food insecurity protests. Scientists are using underwater speakers to help restore degraded coral reefs. They rely on rich soundscapes to thrive, they discovered. Almost half of parents are paying their adult kids' bills. Dollar Tree is closing down a thousand locations. Japanese rocket explodes seconds after taking off. They banned TikTok, Ding Dong, Cracker Jack, Flip Flop, Meat Sauce, Short Attention Span, Stupid World. Because, not really, it has to get voted on again and some American company might buy it and restart it. The madness never ends. Violent clashes in the West Bank. A 16-year-old transgendered was bullied and then did suicide with drugs, I think. Putin recalls Trump acting like a jealous girlfriend in private. U.S. achieves energy independence for first time in 40 years. Surprise, the oil and gas industry may be emitting about three times the amount of methane than government estimates, according to a new study in Nature. Thursday was Pi Day, also Albert Einstein's birthday. And SpaceX rocket lost contact on the way back down. We're never going to get to Mars, okay? We're not going to Mars. It messes up wildlife from the concussive blast, too. More research needs to be done. South Korean scientists make beef rice. It's like meat sauce, but rice. Meat rice. Meat sauce. 16,000 plastic chemicals with at least 4,200 of those considered highly hazardous are in everyday products. Pope says option of resigning is only a distant hypothesis. But it's okay because Shell weakened its 2030 carbon reduction target and scrapped the 2035 objective, citing expectation for lower power sales and strong demand for gas, even it was affirmed plans to be net zero by 2050. The CEO wants to revamp on higher margin projects, steady oil output and growth and production of natural gas in order to boost, wait, you guessed it, returns. Because stonks, they only go up along with human extinction. Baby boomers are staying put. 56% of 60 and older don't want to move. 44% of all home ownership is even from boomers. They took everything. Dollar General says self-checkout isn't working. Too much stealing. Surprise. Because we don't live in a dystopian nightmare, but we actually do. Bird flu is spreading to penguins in the Antarctic. And another surprise, full of surprises, Trump's White House was awash in speed and zanzan. Under Trump, the White House medical unit was like, quote, the Wild West, and staffers had easy, easy access to powerful stimulants and sedatives. Did it look like they were on drugs? Because they were. Russian elections on Friday that put Putin, he did win and gave his election victory, if you want to call it that, speech, warning the West that World War III was one step away with NATO. Average springtime temperatures warmed by 2.2 degrees Celsius from 1970 to 2023 across 230 U.S. cities analyzed by Climate Central. Home Depot is already selling Halloween items seven months early because profits. Migrant boats sinks off the coast of Turkey, 16 dead among children. Thoughts and prayers. Denmark to add $6 billion to defense started drafting women as well. Houthis have a hypersonic missile now. Everyone is poor, war drills are happening on every continent, and corporate defaults are their highest since the great financial crisis. Officials in a Japanese city have warned, warning for residents, don't touch the cat covered in toxic chemicals. Feline went missing, falling into a tank of hexavalent chromium at a metal plating factory. It's like Wolverine cat. New species of sea pig discovered off the coast of New Zealand. Weird looking thing. Ride shares are threatening to stop Minneapolis because they wouldn't pay minimum wage, which is just a dumb term we made up to keep people in poverty while we pay the richest man $188 billion. 12 turbines for 70,000 homes is now working off the coast of New York City. 
Urban humans have lost much of their ability to digest plants. Rural populations have lost the gut bacteria to break down cell cellulose. Are you kind of losing it now? Okay, keep going. Pornhub was blocked in Texas. You can't watch naked people have sex. Pence can't endorse Trump. That's saying something. Saying he's not conservative enough. Schumer says Netanyahu should be ousted and Biden just said, eh, that was mid. What? Inflation is still up. Now da Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P fell. Bezos, Sanchez, and McKinsey are giving away $50 million to build Latinas exceed in school, help veterans, and healthcare centers, which is just a drop in the bucket compared to their overall wealth, and don't try to convince me otherwise. There's going to be eclipse flights next month, I think, because capitalism. And Tim Cook lied to investors that <laughs> Apple sales were doing well in China in 2018, which costed shareholders, poor shareholders, $490 million. More than 32 million is coming to Washington tribes to adapt to CC. A new study from the University of Ottawa suggests dark matter does not exist and the universe is actually 27 billion years old. India's Silicon Valley is running dry as residents urge to take fewer showers and use disposal cup cutlery. El Nino is ending and La Nina is starting. Catastrophic hunger in Sudan. A 26-year-old had a standoff in Philly with a kid with an AR-15. He killed three people, I think his sister and mom, stepsister. And Trudeau thinks about quitting his job, A eh? He just wants to eat his meat, sass, and poutine, A eh? State of emergency in Iceland after a volcano erupted near its capital. Neil Gaiman cleans out his drunk drawer and nets one million from an auction in Irvine, Texas. Donates proceeds to comic creators and writers. To protect their properties from Atlantic Ocean, 150 owners in Salisbury Beach, Massachusetts, funded a $600,000 sand dune project, which was washed, completed March 7th, and days later washed away half of their 15,000 tons of sand. Sorry, rich people, you ain't escaping the crisis. Israel will invade Rafa and Russia, Ukraine launched a drone attack on each other. Chicago can't shelter migrants anymore. Crude oil is trading higher. Putin wins the election. North Korea fires more ballistic missiles. What a busy week. Did you get all that? Again, a reminder, if you made it this far, hit the like button, use the donation link below. I rely on your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Au revoir, and adios, amigos.